Hi, in this video I will talk about the Jonah Surah starting from the verse 60, 61. And uh, it is Jonah Surah because it is mentioning it is mentioning Jonah. So if as you know it is a famous story and this, it was also mentioned in Bible I guess in uh, and Christians know the story as well. Uh, the people of Jonah, when they believed, we relieved the humiliating retribution they had been suffering in this world. And so let's back to the verse 61. You do not get any situation, nor do you recite the Quran, nor do you anything without us being witnesses thereof as you do it. Not even an atom's weight is out of your Lord's control, be it in the heavens or earth. Nor is there anything smaller than an atom or larger that is not recorded in a profound record. So, here we see that, um, here we see that it was referring to something smaller than an atom. Maybe it can be translated differently, but it indicates that so so if if you are living that age you don't know even that something can smaller than an atom can be so even let's ask the primary school student if they're not knowledgeable they don't know about that something cannot be smaller than this right it may be smallest one so you cannot and if there is no such thing smaller than this it can still be considered like metaphor or something but we firstly should accept it as a precise so it, it means God knows everything and every molecules and God uh, controls everything and it was recorded in a profound record and at that time referring it correctly is is very is very interesting and also in this we know the Jonas so in the in this Jonah is in the animal's belly and God is controlling his situation there and God has um, power to do this absolutely God's allies have nothing to fear nor will they grieve they are those who believe and lead a righteous life for them joy and happiness in this world as well as in the hereafter this is God's unchangeable law such as the greatest greatest trump do not be saddened by their utterances. All power belongs to God. He is the hearer, the omniscient. Absolutely to, belong, to God belongs everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth. Those who set up idols beside God are really following nothing. They only think that they are following something they only guess. He is the one who rendered the night for your rest and rendered the day lighted. These are proofs for people who can hear. So this is interesting. Night for your rest, and it is evidence. So let's open this Google Scholar and see. Night is for rest. So night is resting time. So maybe we cannot find it that way. So let's oxytocin and I'm oh sorry, melatonin and night. On daytime sleep after simulated, simulated night shift work. So, so as you know that measuring light at night, melatonin levels, and shift workers, a review of the literature. Shift work, especially that involving rotating and night shifts, is associated with an increased increase risk of diseases and cancer. One hypothesis postulates that exposure to light at night suppresses melatonin and whose pro production is known to slow the development of cancerous cells, while another proposes that circadian disruption associated with shift work and not just uh, light at night increases health risks. This review focuses on six studies that employed quantitative measurement of 
uh, light at night and melatonin levels. These studies were identified via searching the PubMed. And while the results indicate a growing consensus on the relationship between disease risks and circadian disruption associated with shift work, the establishment of a direct link between uh, light at night and disease has been impeded by contradictory studies and lack of consistent quantitative methods for measuring light at night in the research today. Better protocols for assessing personal uh, light at night exposure are required. Other methodologies such as measuring circadian disruption and melatonin levels in the field may also help to resolve the discrepancies in the findings. So, <clears throat> so here we saw first evidence, something smaller than atom was described. Here we see another evidence, night is for rest. So because, uh, so it shows that sleep at night is important. Let's search it. Healthy sleep also helps the body remain healthy and stay off diseases. Why is sleep at night important? So during sleep, your body is working to support healthy brain function and maintain your physical health. In children and teens, sleep also helps support growth and development. Getting inadequate sleep over time can raise your risk for chronic health problems. Um, what are the benefits of a night sleep? Get Stay at well to healthy weight, sleep at night, and rest. This seven hours. Most people don't need more than eight hours in bed to be well rested, to go bed and get up at the same time every day, including weekends. So, we see that. Uh, sleep helps the brain work properly so render the night for the rest and render the day lighted these are pro proofs for people who can hear so we we see that uh, it is important they said god has begotten a son be glorified he is the most rich to him belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth you have no proof to support such a blasphemy are you saying about god what you do not know Proclaim those who publicate lies about God will never succeed. They get their temporal share in this world. Then to us is their ultimate return. Then we commit them to severe retribution for them disbelieving. We cite for them the history of Noah. He said to his people, O my people, if you find my position and my reminding of you, God's revelations too much for you, then I put trust my, my trust in God. You should get together with your leaders, agree on a final decision among yourselves, then let me know it without delay.